Prince Holiday's looking further away than ever at this rate. I don't know. Maybe. But we do really need to sort out these bills. I think we can cut down some of it easily enough. And we need to stop having so many takeaways for a start. Oh, OK. But it's these shopping bills and top-ups. That's where all the money's going. And we waste too much food. Maybe we can change some brands or something. It's just so hard to know where to start. Maybe we should just make a budget. Write a shopping list and stick to it. Oh, I remember making a shopping list last time. It was you that had problems sticking to it then. Maybe you should try having the kids screaming at you for treats whilst you're trying to shop. It doesn't need to be this stressful. First of all, we can split up the work. One person could look at the finances and set a budget, while the other could look at pricing in stores. This way, we can plan how much we need to save and shop with a list. By planning the meals in advance, you can make sure that you are buying only what you need and decide how you can use the leftover ingredients to make another meal. That means that there is more time when shopping to start looking at labels properly, to see which brand is best value for money. Most items show prices based on 100 milliliters for liquids and 100 grams for solid food. Using the same value comparison makes it easy to find out which product is cheaper. Pricing is, of course, confusing as shops bombard you with different options. You may need to take into account offers and discounts to work out the real price. You might also find that some brands tell you how much you are paying for a litre or a kilogram, and others use milliliters or grams. Therefore, understanding how many milliliters are in a liter and how many grams in a kilogram is useful and can ensure you are choosing the cheapest product and saving money. So we'll be able to afford to go to Disneyland then? Well, let's start saving some money before we spend it, eh? 